update the christian home with host carrie garen scoggin hi welcome back to the christian home this is carrie garen scoggins covering the topic today of retaining one's youth over age 40 opening my vault to embarrassing secrets which i personally have used in attempts to defy the aging process as I stated in part one, natural oils such as jojoba and almond oil, also shea butter, the yellow shea butter, unrefined, absorbs best on one's skin in preventing wrinkles, crepey skin, and laugh lines, coupled with the continued regiment of a face wrap, holding back the swelling in one's face in hopes to prevent jowls as one loses their skin elasticity and in the areas where one has once held water becomes sagging skin under the jawline hopefully to prevent this by stopping the swelling in the face as one loses their elasticity over time. And adding lots of raw fruits and vegetables into one's diet daily and moving on to cosmetics. I often use a roux tween times coloring stick to cover gray roots. This is a must to stay young looking. You have to wet this stick under the water and then rub it over your gray roots. This trick helps you get from month to month without having gray roots that age you. I would like to reiterate, wet the stick before you rub it across your gray roots. And again, if there's anything that makes you look older, it's gray roots and gray hair. Keep your hair colored and from month to month, use this Rue Tween Time stick. And another old but effective trick is the waist cincher or corset. One needs to wear it up to 14 hours a day, usually after two to three months. One sees a drastic change in regaining a waistline. I would like to remind those that are postpartum, wait at least six months after you've quit breastfeeding for the uterine swelling to go down and the uterus to regain its normal size before one begins to sleep in a waist cincher. Also making it a regular habit to wear a neoprene belt or use a plastic wrap around the waist, thighs, and areas where one would wish to lose water weight. This is very effective. I personally do so when I mow the yard or do any manual labor, just working around the house. Next on my list of musts concerning looking young would be the overlined lip. Using lip liner just above the lip line to make the lips larger, looking more full, as they did before collagen loss sets in. Just overlining the lips alone helps take years off your face. Another trick is on your cupid's bow. Under the nose, taking the lip liner straight across from one tip to the other without trying to fill in that cupid's bow. Not filling in that cupid's bow too precisely, just going from point to point straight across helps reduce the look of aging. It makes the lips look fuller 
older women who draw in that Cupid's bow, making the dupe really strong, shows their age. With cosmetic companies flooding the market with contouring agents, dark and light makeup, adding contouring to the jawline, the cheekbones, many have not discussed that that pertains to an older woman. Where contouring should be lines drawn upward, straight lines going upward across the jawline, the cheekbones, and even from the corner of the eye up to the hairline. Using lines moving upward has a natural uplifting effect, like a facelift in a bottle. And again, do not stop with just the upward dark line on the jawline and cheekbone. Go ahead and add that extra line from the corner of the eye up into the hairline to give that uplifting effect on the upper part of the face. Taking that extra few minutes when putting one's makeup on using dark contouring makeup from the jawline down under the chin and across the upper part of one's neck, especially if they're sagging skin or a double chin as a result of aging. It detracts one's eyes. It takes the attention off these imperfections. When one uses dark contouring makeup to draw in the jawline, if they have jowls, use the dark line to draw in the jawline where it used to be. I wanted to make sure to add that little note in, not to draw the line with the dark contouring makeup around the sagging skin or jowls because it might draw attention to it. Take that line and draw straight over it as though it were not there making it disappear with the dark makeup. These are just a few of the tricks that I've worked into my daily regiments. It has to be ongoing and something that one keeps up and continues. And always remember there's no amount of cosmetics that can replace a good diet, taking vitamins, and getting daily exercise keeping one's weight down. This has a huge portion to do with how old you look. I know for myself being a Cherokee, the natural tendency to hold extra weight, where dieting has become a lifestyle. Those daily choices of, am I going to cave in and eat a piece of chocolate cake or will I forego it and eat some raw carrots later? stopping at possibly half the portion that you ate before and then filling up on dry cereal, raw vegetables, just to keep one's weight down. It's sad, but in order to look younger, one has to seemingly fight what the body wants to do. At age 45, all of my friends and myself gained weight. The natural tendency to get the middle age spread around age 45 and have to turn around and fight it. And again, ladies over the age of 70 naturally start to lose weight. Yet at that age, the women that are larger look younger. If you're thin in your 40s, you look younger. If you're thin in your 70s, you have more wrinkles. They need to gain weight at that age. Looking young sometimes means fighting one's natural tendencies.
Scripture says God can go above and beyond all that we can ask or think. I gave my skin to the Holy Spirit, and he has not done me wrong. Ask God to lead you and guide you in the areas that you need help, give you wisdom. God is able to keep that which we have entrusted to him. Entrust your health, your life, and even your appearance. And ask God for wisdom and daily guidance in all of the above. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior today. This has been another episode of The Christian Home. Thanks for tuning in. Update The Christian Home with host Carrie Garen Scoggins.